how to prevent lifting. Yes, application is very important and key, but the majority of problems when it comes to lifting can be traced back to not preparing the natural nail properly. We're gonna take you through the steps on how to prepare the natural nail for all applications so that you do not have lifting. Right now, on Nail School. All right, Tracy, preventing lifting. What do you have for us today? It's something I actually had problems with when I first started doing nails was lifting. And I was able to figure out that it came back to preparation. So what I wanna do is show you the fastest possible way of prepping the nail, a proper way that's going to help you prevent lifting. So we're gonna start with this nail and what I'm gonna show you is the wrong way of prepping and then we'll go into the proper way of prepping and why that works. The one thing I like to show when I'm teaching a class is I take a marker and I show them exactly where we're talking about when we're talking about cuticle area preparation. And it's right back here. This is all area that needs to be prepped. So we're gonna be working with our electrophile with a medium grit sanding band and we're gonna start right here. And this is what most people do when they're prepping. They come back here. And they follow through and remove the shine from the nail. And they say, that's good enough. And let me show you. But do you see how all that black is still in there? We have to make sure the cuticle is completely clean so we don't get lifting. So if I go back in, I'm going to take my electric file and I'm going to tuck right into the groove and remove and make sure that whole cuticle area is nice and clean. So every once in a while, we get a client who has deep pockets. And what happens is it makes it very difficult to get in there and get all that clean. So what we have to do is we can switch bits. So right now we're gonna switch to our medium diamond bit. And what this does is it's, it's equal to using a medium grit arbor band, but it has a smaller head so it tucks into the cuticle area much easier. So we're gonna turn our electric file on low. If you have a client, normally what we would do is pull that skin back so we can really tuck in there. But since I'm working on myself, I'm just gonna turn my hand and get into that groove. Now we've went through the proper way of prepping the nail. I'm gonna go ahead and move to this nail and we're gonna do it all the way through so you can see it from start to finish. We're gonna start by pushing back the cuticle. Pushing back the cuticle is really important because that's gonna expose everything that needs to be removed on the nail. We're gonna to switch to our medium arbor band on a low speed into that cuticle area make sure it's nice and clean once we've done that i'm going to follow through and remove the shine from the whole surface of the nail from the natural nail so it's really important to cleanse the nail with something that's going to dehydrate remove the uh, oils and the contaminants from the nail you can do it two different ways you can take a lint-free wipe and cleanse your nail but I'm gonna show you a tip and trick that really works really well. I like to use a manicure brush after I filed and prepped the nail. I like to dust off the nail, pump it with a swipe, and cleanse it this way. The reason I like to do that is that actually pulls all the dust out from the cuticle area and makes sure it's nice and clean. Once we have done that, it's time for protein bond. We're going to make sure we cover the whole surface of the nail, not touching the skin. We're going to do this to all 10 nails. Once we've done the 10th nail, 
we can come back and do our second coat. So we have prepped the nail. This prep would apply whether you're using acrylic or a hard gel. If you follow this way of doing it, your prep work from start to finish, from pushing back the cuticles, removing shine, cleaning up the cuticle, swiping it clean, and protein bond, it should take you about two to five minutes for all 10 fingers. A lot of us, me included, when I first started out, took 15 to 30 minutes. So you can imagine how much time that's going to save you. By doing proper preparation, you are going to ensure that you're not gonna have any lifting.